Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to break down League of Legends for this weekend. What's happening, Tom? Nothing. It's the second weekend. We've got some elimination series. We're waiting on a few winners. You know, it should be very exciting. It's going to be awesome. We're all looking for content. We're all looking for something to play DFS with. And thankfully, League of Legends is there for us. Let's begin with the Friday playoffs in Europe. We're going to start with Team Origin. That's something that you're focused on. How come? Yeah, so Origin are taking on Rogue. This is in the loser's bracket. It's an elimination series. Origin finished as a top three team uh, in the spring split for the LEC. Rogue made the playoffs, but they were a bottom 5-6 team. Uh, in the regular season, we saw Origin really bring it to Rogue, taking the series 2-0, at least in the regular season, winning 13-4 to in terms of kills and 10-4, to really one-sided affairs. So if you're going to Origin, you know, on this single game slate, you have to be rostering, I would say, at least four of them. We expect the series to be a 3-1 or even a 3-0 sweep. Uh, I want to be looking to specifically Nuke Duck in the mid lane, 6-0-3 in the first game, zero deaths, which is awesome, uh, really no negative points at all. You then want to be looking to Upset and Destiny as the bottom lane pairing for the ADC and support but you have to be rostering one of the rogue players, and that comes down to Inspired, their jungler who had a 70% kill participation, which was the second highest among junglers. This is going to be a very, very one-sided series, so load up on Origin tonight. Origin is a team you want to make sure you have most of your players in. You do got to get that one player from Rogue, so, so be careful there. This series should not be a long one, so Origin team you want to stack on Friday. Let's move over to Saturday. We have a couple of playoff matchups here. And Tom, that brings us now to Fnatic, a team that we focused on last week. You're back in on them here on Saturday. How come? So this series should be really good and probably should be the closer of the two Saturday series. Uh, Fnatic taking on the Mad Lions in the two games that they played in the regular season. Mad Lions won at 24 to 8 in terms of kills. And then Fnatic won 20 to 8 in terms of kills. So we're, we're actually looking at a really, really good series in terms of potential fantasy points. But I still expect Fnatic to win this one probably 3 1, uh, which means we should be getting plenty of fantasy points on both sides. Reckless, I think, is one of the clear top options as it was last week. He's going to be a top option this week for your star spot and one of the best ADCs on the slate overall. You then should be looking to Nemesis. And I think Guippo in the top wing is actually a really good call. Uh, on the other side for Mad Lions, if you're looking to do a bit of a game stack, since we should be seeing plenty of kills, Kaiser, the support for Mad Lions, isn't going to be too expensive. We don't have the salaries exactly as of now, but he should be involved in plenty of the kills. And since he has a lower salary, should be able to pay off his you know, point per dollar relatively quickly. So load up on Fnatic, but if you're looking to do a game stack, add in Kaiser in there. Fnatic, the team you want to focus on in this playoff matchup. But as Tom mentioned, this game may be the one that is closest all weekend long which means a game stack may make sense here. So Kaiser, uh, certainly available on the board for you this weekend in the playoffs. Moving on, but staying here on Saturday, another playoff matchup that we're focusing on, another team that we're focusing on specifically is Cloud9. What do you like about Cloud9 in this playoff matchup? We were on Cloud9 last week. They won 3-0 in a sweep, and that is what we should be expecting this week. Uh, you know, maybe uh, Evil Geniuses take one game off of Cloud9, uh, and they win 3-1, but this 3-1 should be much, much, uh, you know, much, much of a uh, greater differential compared to the 3-1 than Fnatic. We've been going on all season. Their big 3-1 comes to Sven, Niski, and Blaber are truly some of the best overall players in the entire league and on the slate. But if you're looking to get a little bit different and still getting exposure to Cloud9, going to Vulcan as a support and Licorice in the top lane should bring you a bit of salary relief. Now, it should be noted that when the team wins and they do not have to play the remaining games in the series, if they win 3-0, they get bonus points for not playing games four and five. So we're getting a bit of extra value from Licorice and Vulcan, even though uh, they aren't going to be having the most kills and the most potential fantasy points. They're cheaper, but still getting the bonus via the sweep. So look to Cloud9. EG really don't stand too much of a shot in this one. It's a great leverage play if you want to be looking to go there, but that's not certainly my first choice. Those bonus points for Cloud9 may come in handy uh, with the sweep. Like you said, they're not going to be the tops in the kills, but those bonus points are going to make up for it. So uh, take a look at Cloud9, which should be an easy win for them on Saturday. Let's move over to Sunday, where we don't necessarily know the matchups yet, Tom, but we can at least preview it here a little bit. What are you looking at as you get ready to build your lineups for Sunday? 
So for Sunday, the first matchup we'll be looking at is the winner of the Origin and Rogue series. They will be taking on G2 Esports, who actually got knocked down into the lower bracket from Mad Lions last week. G2 finished as the number one seed in the uh, LEC this season. They have been the dominant team over the past few years. So really, regardless of who shows up against G2, I expect G2 to win if it's against Origin. That's maybe where we see a 3-1, 3-2 series if Rogue somehow beat Origin. I still expect G2 to beat uh, Rogue sitting at 3-0. So regardless of who they play, load up on G2, but it should have better fantasy value against Origin. All right, we'll see what happens on Friday. That, of course, determine what the matchups look like on Sunday. G2, certainly someone to keep an eye on on Sunday when you set your lineups. That's going to do it for us here on the FanDuel Hurry Up Time. We appreciate the time. Good luck this weekend. See you next week. And the playoffs roll all over. Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Have a great week, a fantastic weekend. We'll see you back here next week for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.